Hello there everyone, welcome to more Universalis 4. I'm Bogmod, and last time you recall we played Portugal. Did pretty well. Uh, you know, we were the most powerful nation in all the world. It's pretty good in my books. I'm gonna play something a little different this time. I'm gonna go try my hand at something... something seriously different. So, no, I, I was really tempted. I just picked up the El Dorado expansion. So I'm tempted. Play the Aztecs. Maybe the Inca. Who well, aren't actually started yet, I don't think. The Chimu. I'd have to start with, I believe. But, but... I'm going to go with something a little different. One group that I've never actually properly had the chance to play. I'm going to go over here to Asia. And I'm going to try my hand at the Ming. Um, I don't know. It's a powerful nation. I expect I will be dominant in the region. But, you know, I want to do it. I think I'll have fun with this. So we're going to play as the Ming. Yeah. Never played them. I've always... Alright, here we go. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've played this, actually. So, here we are. China. Well, that was a nice little gong noise. Alright, what well, we need... We are a terrible emperor. And we have a terrible heir. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Interesting. I don't, I don't think I need to naturally focus on anything. What's my income like? Oh, I have a strong income. Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll take, we'll take him. Uh, yeah, we'll take him. And since I can't afford the other guy, I'll take him. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How's my economy? Uh, economy's good. I have inflation, though. Technology, a little behind. Um, westernizing would be difficult. But alright. Let's see what I... Anyway, oh. Level 2, I need level 4, okay. Uh, I, got a, I got a little ways to go before I have to worry about that. Let's, see, let's take a look at our special ideas. Uh, we can construct the Forbidden City. What happens? I get... Alright, well, actually that's a decent boost. Enforcing our heritage. Okay. I need stability of at least one to pull that off, though. Alright. And then I can... That'll make my missionaries stronger. I like that. That's good. Uh, let's take a look. Stability. I do not have enough to boost. All right, so I'm just gonna take some time. Wait. Yeah. No subjects. Ah, uh, long spears. Let's see. What's the perk of uh, being Confucian? Nothing special. So let's see. Restore the old frontier. Dive yet does not exist. Ooh. So if I completely destroy them, ooh, that is tempting. I'm going to start with the forming an alliance with Korea. I'm sure they'll be happy with that one. Hello. How are you, Korea? Ever thought of making an alliance with me? Yes? We need a military general. I can wait a bit. My celestial empire. So let's see my my special ideas. Well, first of all, we get more trade power. Ideas are cheaper, and we get better relations. Okay. So we've got. 
Uh, nine garrisons of the Great Wall. Fort to Fort Defense. Discipline up. Provides around the three grand divisions. Perfection. Stability. Cheaper. Oh. Pair the Yellow River Dikes. More production. Good, good. I shall trade up by restoring the Salt Monopoly. Okay. Single Whip Law. The Red Cannon. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get things going. Should be a stable government, blah blah blah. I'm gonna ignore them for now. Cruise accepted. Oh good. Royal Marriage Korea? I think so. Yes, Royal Marriage. Just what we need to get along with our Korean neighbors. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I mean, pl have not played this game in a little while. I know what I'm forgetting. Yes. Um. Yeah, you'll protect trade in Beijing. Yay! We got our all that done. Yeah, lots of little diplomacy. So, prove our prestige. Prove prestige of 50. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Restore the Old Frontier. Yes. So we have the goal of taking, where is it? Donkin is what we got to take. To do that, I'm gonna have to move my armies. There we are. I'm sure he won't be at all suspicious about the massive armies massing on his borders. Not suspicious at all. Probably should get that general then. Give me a general. All right, not bad. And we're what? We'll make our ruler into one. Oh, it's not bad actually. <laughs> and yes, let's convert some provinces. <laughs> so what is this composed of? Galleys. All right, I'm gonna bring you down. All the way down here. Imperial insults. What do we got? A young courtier of the Temple faction, employed at the reception of foreign dignitaries, and to date the Ming court, got his diplomatic blunder today. He cut a protocol about two times rather than three when creating a foreign diplomat. His face for the courtier is declared into a loss of face for the entire Temple faction. All right, as the Ming. We have a special sort of uh, relationship. Uh, where's that? No. No. Uh, yeah, we have a faction-y thing. Now, where is the faction tab? Economy, diplomacy, my country. Huh. Um, I'm not sure about that. Well, we'll get to learn. Let's see. Uh, I don't care about the Temple Faction. They can lose influence. Apologize. Yes, oh. Hold on a second. Uh, merge them and then split them. All right. Tribal feud. Oh, those silly tribals.
There we are. Well, I think there's no reason to waste time. I'm gonna... Ooh, actually, I can make a friend still. Lan Nang. Hey, Lan Nang. Everyone would have an alliance with me, maybe? Maybe? Yes, I will marry you. And then... That gives you an excuse to declare war. Uh, do I need... No, I don't need... Be able to call them allies. Hmm. The enemy ally Lanai will not be considered a co belligerent in this war. They will not be able to call their own allies. I don't mind that. Let's get this war started. March! There we are. War's all the way already underway. And I should do something with my diplomats. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Transferring trade power. I think you should just collect from this node. What is this? Huang Zhao? Collect from trade. Yes. Just collect money there, I think. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't sorry. Do I want to ah, uh, we. I don't think it's worthwhile to assault them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to increase my relations with them. Yes. Yes, I, I think that's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Tilly, the Magic of Heaven. Inward Perfection. Interesting. That's actually a rather large series of penalties. Influenza! Duh. Quarantine them. All right. Must reform and westernize if I want to get all of these penalties. Ooh. And I apparently, I imagine I've gone over my diplomatic limit, haven't I? Nope, no, I haven't. Got two. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do I want? Uh, they won't give me. They won't give me the piece I want. Donate to Champa. All right. Yeah. That seems a worthwhile option. That's just a matter of waiting waiting until I can uh, claim the territories I want. Mm. Alright, one siege down. You can do it, guys. You can do it. Yes, good work. Shoot them. Stab them! Uh, oh, excellent! Oh, and we're destroying their boats too? Doubly good. Cores and claims. Nope. Cores and claims. Nope. Zhuang. Not part of our accept. So I'm going to take that, and... Hmm, I 
do want that, but it is their capital. Can I even claim that right away? I don't think I can. Hmm. Ah, well. Let's see. What do I know of the world? Well, big unexplored region over there. You know, I would like colonizing these places. Well, hello. Concede defeat. Pshh. No, no, no. I'm taking something from you. At the very least, I'm going to take them to set up taking that later. Crackdown on heresy. Fushin. Well, I do want the, the yes, yes. It changes to con, to to Confucian. Uh, I don't want to lose my stability. Too expensive. And speaking of stability, check inside. Boosting our stability. Oh, here we are. Let's see. Around 1400, China's relations with the outside world began to change. Many times, lines of trade and religion had created connections between the Heavenly Kingdom and its neighbors. Under Tang, uh, the Tang Dynasty, there had been growing contacts with India and China, and the doors of Buddhists approaching in the south. In terms of the Song, great expansion of trade in the Southern Seas, and the Mongols. Christian and Jewish traders in China. Kick them out in 1367. Uh, following the seven expeditions of Admiral Zheng He, who sailed the improvements of the Indian Ocean to the coast of Africa, China folded outwards. The Ming well, outward expansion. That's what we're going to go for. And we're going to enforce our heritage. To make our missionaries ever stronger. Uh, oh, here we are. What do we get? Okay. That's not a bad faction. Restore the old frontier. Oh, I, get, I see. So that was a faction specific thing, was it? Interesting. Alright, well, let's try to improve our prestige. Yay! We won! Oh, my army just suddenly got smaller! Angel unrest. Ah, Haizong. Yeah, we'll core it. Alright, everybody. You're going home. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I wish there was an easy way to tell what all the factions did. Perfection. Out of heaven. Your hair and injury. It's weird that there's not a quick a quick thing to look it up. Very strange. Well, we'll take a break here. And let's see what else we can do with China next time. See you soon.